on Facebook. I'm here with Vincenzo, myself, Hello. Nick Santos, uh, at Ali Vini's headquarters, as everyone uh, should recognize by now. Um, we're, we've decided to give you a little insight into Panettone Classico uh, and celebrating Christmas the Italian way. Yeah. Um, so let's talk a bit about the history of the Panettone, how it came to be. Um, we're looking at uh, 1900s, uh, where there's various stories uh, about how uh, it was originally made. Exactly how it was originally made, how it came to be. Uh, the most believable story is of uh, a baker, um, this certain pony, uh, who had to bake a sweetened loaf of bread uh, when the main chef managed to burn Class, his dessert. Uh, dessert. <laughs> his dessert. So it was a mistake. Easy. Like all the nice things in life, they exactly. all started after a mistake, is it? Like Most probably. Yeah. I, I think that's true, I think. <laughs> so, um, Panettone from Alivini, we have uh, Flamini, which is uh, top of the range. Yeah, one of the nicest ones, actually. Uh, we hope to prove that today. Um, La Torinese, our entry level brands. Yeah. And Scarpa. sitting in the middle, we have from Scarpato. All a classico. Um, the Flamini one is a Milanese recipe, um, so it would be the most typical, most traditional in mm -hmm. terms of ingredients. Uh, and these two are both uh, classic uh, recipes. Yeah, nowadays panettone is very popular. You can find panettone everywhere. It's everybody's taste having a slice of panettone, especially for Christmas. Exactly. And in well, the UK. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. More and more UK, now it's people a, taking it yeah, to yeah. other people's houses as a gift. In Alivini, we always tend to keep things different. So we have decided to go with three different brands of panettone just because one is, let's say, our industrial but not really industrial version, which is La Torinese. And then we went with Flaminia Scarpato, which are well um, uh, affirmed brand in Italy, but more an artisan, so an upper a, a level slightly higher than the, uh, than the Torinese. So to give the customer a different choice and try three different products made uh, in three different ways. Exactly. Um, so, like we said, you've got the classic recipe, the most typical recipe. Uh, which is just uh, raisins and uh, what else? Nick? Raisins and so candied fruit. Candied fruit. Okay. Um, but what people don't know is yeah. the ratio yeah. of yeah. the raisins and candied fruit that should go into it. Right. Um, most sources uh, of the region tend to state a good panettone classico should have roughly 20% raisins mm -hmm. in the mixture and 12 to 15% okay. of candied fruit. And the candied fruit is generally candied citron right. and uh, candied orange peel. Right. Um, now, Flamini, uh, when it comes to you in the packaging, it comes with a little card, little story about the panettone. Very, as very nice packaging, lovely packaging. All as the wrapped, scarpato, yeah. Yeah. Um, with instructions about how to yeah. eat it as well. Also, Flamini is probably one of the few producers in Italy who, who only use French butter really? in the recipes. Yes, they do. Uh, they decided to go with French butter, so adding cost to the production, so buying the butter from France, because they believe that uh, small producers in France are giving the best uh, product for their final, uh, uh, their final recipe. So, so that's, that's a one really of the main unique. Difference. That's yeah. a really yeah. unique product. Yeah. We yeah. should yeah. hopefully be able to sense that when we mm. taste it. Mm. So all of these have come fresh out of the oven. Uh, so why do you put it in the oven first? It's to release all those aromas, all those, get the right. full taste uh, of the, the, the fruits that go inside. Mm -hmm. And also, um, in the case of Flamini, they use Madagascan vanilla. Right, right. So Which you're talking about a higher quality butter, right. um, a great quality vanilla, which we know uh, too well is expensive, and their citron and um, their orange peels, their candied orange. Mm. So the oranges come from uh, Sicily, as do with the scarpato. Right. And the citron, I can't remember at the moment where it comes from. So you're talking about citron. Probably from uh, uh, south of Italy. So yes, Santa Maria. Sicily. Sicily. Yeah, Santa Maria del okay. Cedro in Sicily. Yeah. yeah. So, so basically, uh, what is Nick, I think, is trying to tell, to tell us that there are a lot of difference in how, how select the perfect panettone. So exactly. obviously, uh, um, an industrial-made panettone will use industrial and lower-quality products. So it's like having a nicer... Uh, um, 
uh, and the leavening time will change exactly so so, so the, the the depends what you are putting inside the, the the cake that makes the difference so it will give you a different taste and obviously a different uh, result at the end a different price what's the most important ingredient in vincenzo ah you go you see i don't know that what's they the say it's the mother yeast oh yeah oh, right. is what gives yeah. it that fluffy texture a right. good rising right, right. So, yeah, so traditionally a low rise form mm -hmm. is, is produced, although you can choose the, uh, the tall form, mm -hmm. um, which is introduced in around about 1920s. Um, because you and can it's have down it high to, and low. Exactly, you yeah, so these are all low. low. These right. are all low form, and you've got the tall uh, also available mm -hmm. uh, from, uh, I think all three do them, actually. Um, so nowadays it's down to your preference, uh, no, we don't think one is better than the other, whether it's no, tall or low. We love it all. But <laughs> <laughs> like as it long tall. as it's yeah, sweet. Yeah, as long as it's sweet, we love it. <laughs> so, um, what do we look for in a well-baked panettone? We look for a nice, not too deep yellow paste color. Right. Um, Very important. Yeah. Fluffy, spongy texture, which is airy. Um, it it shouldn't clump up in the hand nor in the mouth too. No, easily no. you don't want it too mushy yeah 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 yep. um and the fruit you want good <coughs> good bite overall in the fruit you don't want it to it, the, just a man as you see i think 12 15 percent of fruit is uh, then uh, you can obviously this is the classic version but panettone now comes in so many different right. forms you know you yeah. can have it filled with uh, coffee or limoncello cream or exotic fruit or uh, it's really for you everyone. name it you can have it yeah nowadays. exactly yeah you <laughs> can have whatever you want um Right, so like I said, these are fresh out of the <coughs> oven. Um, the you best way you, to you taste, can smell it. Uh, um, we, can, we wish you uh, could smell it. You can't, but we can, so it's <laughs> The really best nice. way uh, <laughs> to taste panettone yeah. is to preheat an oven yeah, uh, yeah. at about 100 degrees um, for, let's say, 15 minutes to make it hot enough. Yeah. And the panettone should be in there between two to five minutes. Also because it helps to uh, hold the butter or margarine, depends what the producer uses, it melts inside, so it gives uh, the yellow color you mentioned yeah. before, and also it releases the flavor of the raisin, so everything comes mixed together. Yeah, just and just concentrate you everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember my dad, when I was a child, he used to put the panettone on top of the heater. Because he, even if you don't want to put it into the you oven, just you just sleep after dinner at Christmas, you just smell it because it slowly, slowly releases all the flavor and you can smell it for... That's lovely. Yeah, that was nice, yeah. Well, see, another... Uh, the Italians <laughs> always do it better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, shall we go ahead and taste yeah, some not? of these? Which uh, where do you want to start? I would like to start with uh, Torinese. La Torinese, so, we'll so yeah. the entry yeah. brand. Yeah, yeah. the entry uh, brand. I washed my hands yesterday, so okay, it should I be believe. okay. Trust you. You see, it's nice and soft. I can see yeah. that, and it's slightly crunchy outside. So, All right. should we half that, or do you want to? Yeah, let's half that. Let's half uh, that one. We can have. We're gonna have three. Shall we cut all of them, or so we can we can compare it? Or you wanna? Well, we'll do that first. first. Yeah, let's go into this first. So, the color is there. Yeah. You see, as you mentioned before, the the, the percentage of raisin I think is right because it's not everywhere but just about to give the the extra kick to the extra flavor to yeah. the panettone and the it doesn't clump it up it, no, it as doesn't. you squish yeah. it 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 slowly comes back up so it's not yeah it's really nice i mean the panettone is very classic it's not too sweet no it's not not because you got the the, the um, I think the um, the raisins that gives you the um, and the bitterness of the lemon of the orange of the orange yeah, peel that gives that you actually. yeah there is like a zesty the zesty, a zesty flavor, yeah. flavor to yeah. it yeah. not bad not bad no it's lovely so that is our entry level La Torinese Classico so yeah, we'll go do, to the do the honors yeah uh, we'll go the, up the scale so um, Scarpato is a, a well known brand in making panettone I mean it's been there for. Uh, it's actually older than Flamini. Yeah, older than Flamini. Actually, we as Alivini, we always been we've been working for Scar with Scarpado for more than 15 years. I mean, it, that, um, I started about eight years ago and was already here, and it's still one of our best sellers because the quality we deliver Scarpado every year is uh, is outstanding. I mean, every year they're really constant. The production is always on time, and they never let you down in terms of quality. This one was left in the oven. Uh, 
slightly too long. It's not really good in cutting, but you look. Yeah, the color, the yellow color, you can so see. You can see the fluffiness. Yeah. Yeah, you can definitely, you can notice. Even the also, texture is yeah. so in comparison. Yeah. Whereas that is quite, you can see it's quite well formed and the texture is a lot more rigid. Mm -hmm. um, so you can expect that form to hold a bit better. Mm -hmm. uh, these ones you can see, they, they're a bit lower, they, they squash a bit more easily. Mm -hmm. So let's dive in. Let's dive in, right? I can see also, look at the, the zest. You can tell that it's not um, industri uh, not industrial product. Yeah, so a, you can see that the quality is higher slightly quality higher. Fruit. Yeah, yeah. But also, it melts in your mouth. So you can taste the, mm. the sweetness and the, mm. the buttery. The, um, it's really nice. It's really, really good product. It's so light. In comparison. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very light. Mm. I felt that I could probably eat two slices of that. Mm. But you can Where have all this? of this. Yeah, yeah. I think it's related to the yeast, as you said. Probably mm. these have a different, this one has a different levitation, so it stays more. So it rises a little bit more, so it gives you this fluffiness inside, mm. but still preserve all the, because you can see that it's quite crunchy after a, outside, so it's really nice, the outside. Yeah. So it looks like a loaf of bread, like the, the way it should. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, because it. But I mean, this. All right, it's still. It's not as crunchy, but yeah. you can see it holds its form. Whereas this, mm. if you Look, push it down, yeah. it's so fluffy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. All right, let's dive into Flamini. I'll give it a knife. There you go. Do that. There's a nice crunch yeah. there, considering it's only in there for two minutes. Flamini, as I said before, is. Um, um, we know they use different ingredients like French butter because you want to be unique. I mean, exactly. At the end of the day, panettone. As we said, everybody's producing panettone at the moment, so all the um, big players are trying to make it different, so making their own way. Uh, what I really like about Flamini is the presentation, the presentation of the, uh, how the panettone is served is so beautiful. It makes you feel so like again, it's, it's already So again, it's fluffy, nice and fluffy. I mean, look, look at yeah. when you cut into it. It's, it's just, slightly it remains thicker fluffy. Than, uh, yeah, it's slightly thicker than uh, Flamini, is it? Yeah, it looks oh. it. Mm. I'll go with the bottom, because yeah, you yeah. had the bottom <laughs> last time. <laughs> It's quite full of fruit. There's a lot yeah. of candy fruit. Probably a bit more than, um, mm. you can tell, yes, a little bit more than, um, than Scarpato. Mm. Now, this one, a lot of fruit. I like it. Though. Not so, you can't taste any sugar. There's no bitterness. No. No, yeah. no, no sugary mm. sweetness. Like a, with the La Torinese, you got an instant taste of sweetness. Yeah. I like the crunchiness of the, mm. which really balanced the, the softness of the inside. I mean, it's really, um, it's quite different from the Scarpato. Yeah. Now, it's not as light as the Scarpato. No. But that could be because of the butter. Like Probably, you yeah. said. Yeah, because it, yeah. The quality of butter that mm. they use. It gives you this balance, because the overall but, is very well balanced. So. But the fruit, the fruit in this mm. is... Which is more, really but it's not overpowering. Tasty. Yeah, really yeah, tasty. And like you it. said, it doesn't overpower. No. Really. So it's very well balanced. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So oh, nice. Shall we finish? I mean, <laughs> <or>? so, <yeah. laughs> if, if I had a stomach to finish yeah, it, so I would. What time is it? We can, no, it's too early. Yeah. Maybe in so, an hour's yeah. time, it will be uh, halfway okay. there. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, like Vincenzo said, nowadays, it's not just about classic panettone. Uh, you can, whatever you desire, it, it's more than likely produced i mean you even got raisins soaked in champagne yeah um exotic fruits you got chocolate covered uh, obviously those ones that are chocolate covered you can't put in the oven mm. or you shouldn't put in the oven otherwise it's gonna have a little gonna problem have, there gonna have to clean the oven after that. <laughs> no but it's, no, it's but amazing it's and what do you do when all right say you've come to my house you've given me a, a nice panettone but That's i've right. had during the week two or three visitors who've given me a panettone each what do I do with all this panettone? You just eat it, or you can freeze it. <laughs> <laughs> no, there, there are so many dishes you can do with panettone. Like one of the most popular is bread and butter pudding. So you can just freeze it or slice it and serve it as it yeah, is before so breakfast. So I have so many use panettone. It's a little stuff. cheat there, yeah. obviously. And it goes yeah. great with custard, actually. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So all those custard That's lovers out there mm. like myself. Yeah. Um, no, it's nice, nice to have a, a, a nice selection. So give the customer the, the a choice. So let them know that uh, you can taste so many different panettones. So they're not all the same. Panettone is not just 
uh, one plane mm. um, taste, so yeah. you can so do so many things with it. But it's all down to pre preference, personal taste at the end of the day. <sighs> What, you, you don't know what to expect when you, when you see a Panettone on the shelf. Uh, is there anything that you would look for if you were to see a Panettone on the shelf in terms of the packaging, in terms of the brand? Would I, you look for a certain brand? I will go with something because it, it depends. If I have to give it as a present, I will go with uh, um, a nice, um, nice, uh, you know, nice confection. I will do it with a nice packaging. Uh, so I will go with a fancy one like uh, Flamini because the offers that... that uh, uh, the Flamini gives is, uh, is um, unbelievable. The range is really, really classy, really, really posh. So it's a really nice present. It looks like an expensive present. It looks like it's coming out from a jewelry. So it's, <laughs> it's really, really <laughs> nice. If I have to buy it for myself, I will go with something more plain because you know at the end of the day you have to just taste it with friends. But the the, the selection of a panettone is huge. I mean, you can go. See, to me, it depends on how the night will go. Mm -hmm. If there's going to be a lot of alcohol involved, you'd rather go with that. <laughs> 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 Like we said, it depends on your own preference, how you're going to serve it, who yeah. you're serving it to. Yeah. Ideally, I would go for either the Scarpato or the Flamini purely because mm -hmm. I'd expect something of a decent quality. I like the fluffy texture. Mm -hmm. I, I like that they're not bitter in any way. They're, there's no... There's no real uh, overpowering sweetness. Yeah. And you get to taste those flavors of mm -hmm. the, the good ingredients, the quality mm -hmm. ingredients. Um, yeah, I mean, we're stocking up now. Uh, pre you can, you can pre-order online yeah. or um, by sending us an email, calling us, calling our, our order office. Um, pre-order for December. Uh, we can take your orders now. The quantity will be limited for certain panettone, so... Yes, so all the classic all the, ranges yeah. are available uh, as and when. Um, the more specialist ranges are on special order only. Yeah, also because the production of the supplier we mentioned is limited. I mean, exactly they work on well. a seasonal, they all clutch one for, for Christmas They only, only start so producing in September yes, themselves. Exactly. So, so they're really fresh and they will go uh, out of stock soon. So That's one thing you should look for, actually, when you're shopping it's around. It's important. I mean, um, you have some producers, they, they do because Panettone is becoming very popular, and I like the fact that you can find Panettone uh, in June, July, in like supermarket yeah. chains. For the fact that it's used in yeah, lots of dishes it, now. It's nice, but... If you want to go for a proper one, go obviously to buy the artisanal one, so the one made something for, They'll especially be fresh, for the season. Exactly. They'll be made for that Christmas. And you won't Christmas. be disappointed. So, yeah, that's one of the... A good panettone should have, w with very fresh ingredients, will have roughly five, six, seven months life. So, yeah, yeah. Um, the more industrial ones, like La Torinese, like more, almost a year. I think it's, a, it's all about the preservatives that they add, yeah. just to keep the product. It looks like, some of exactly. them, they look like... Fake, you know. So that, that, that is that is one uh, one thing to look out for when you're shopping yeah. around for panettone. Look at the dates, um, and if it is or it looks Too industrial long. and it's very short, it's most probably been produced mm -hmm. earlier this year and yeah. won't be as fresh. Um, the easiest way is to ask the the shop owner or the supplier when they bought it, when they've yeah. received the panettone. Yeah, that would be a good. Yeah, um, look into that as well. Yeah, so the fresher the better. Obviously, the higher quality you'll get, all those aromas, the flavors, the, the, the fluffiness, mm -hmm. um, whereas with the more industrial ones, uh, generally cheaper, uh, you'll get a, a harder texture. The form will remain uh, as it is, um, and you'll get a, a, maybe a slight bitterness, a slight sweetness, that instant yeah. sweetness because of the added sugars and preservatives. The only way to find out is to try them all, so you Definitely. will be the judge. So That's exactly what <laughs> <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah. I was going to say, <laughs> the only way, like anything, is you have to try a bit of everything, yeah. um, and, and then you find what you prefer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Especially with brands, so many brands nowadays. So many things out there, yeah. Anyway. That's all for today. Thank, Thank you, you very you much Vincenzo. for watching. Thank you, Nick, for having me again. Thank you, everyone online. Take ciao, care. Ciao. See Bye. you later. Bye.